So, Sam, this summer you turned 25, but you have already clocked up over 100 appearances for the club. So do you actually feel like you're one of the senior members of the team? Um, yeah, well, I've been around a long time. Um, but, yeah, I've been brought up from a, from a young age here. So the way Dimes runs thing here is, is if you're a young lad and you train well, you get your opportunity. And I kind of have not looked back since my, my first one however many years ago. But, yeah, they, they include me in a lot now. Um, I'm... I'm I'd like to think that I'm looked up to around the squad, but um, yeah, they, they, they look after as well around here, so it's, it's a great environment to be around. Um, last season, you did make more appearances than you ever have before. You played in every league game. Um, do you think that it was a really productive season for you? Yeah, I mean, as a rugby player, you want to be playing in games, so um, it's a credit to the club, I guess. They kind of keep me in, in, in shape, so they give me the rest when I need it, and then um, put me through my paces when I need, I need that as well. So it's a credit to them to kind of keep me fit throughout the season for me to play that many games. And despite not making the top six last season, um, you have the club still have made it into the Champions Cup. Um, what are your thoughts on um, the pool that you've been drawn in? Yeah, it's obviously a tough pool. I don't think there'd be, there'd be many easy pools out there, but we're looking forward to kind of showing our trade at the very, the very highest level of rugby. So. The signings that we brought in, as well as myself and the homegrown lads, we, we want to be playing at that level. We want to be testing ourselves against the best. So there's no other, there's no real better pool than that against Exeter and La Rochelle and the likes of. So. With the relegation of um, Newcastle last season, um, so Sale are the only northern team of you know, northern of North of England team left at sort of top level rugby. Um, as a someone who was at the Sale Academy, does that concern you? Um, Slightly, because it was a, it was kind of a, a tough one for Newcastle because obviously the, the season before they obviously finished top four, so um, it's just obviously stretching stretching squads thin. But um, it does concern me a bit because of the high quality of rugby that's up here, just schoolboy club rugby, the likes of Owen Farrell, George Ford, people who are brought up here now obviously play their rugby down south. Um, concerns me slightly that there's only two top levels, but I guess it kind of has to broaden our catchment area so we get kind of more of the players, the likes of Leeds, people like that coming in. So it'd be nice to see them come back up next season. I think they will bounce back because they're a quality side. But um, for now, I hope we stand in good stead and hold, hold the, uh, the fortress up here. And are the team focusing on that top four finish and qualifying for the playoffs? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I touched on it before with the signings we made. Um, if you look all over the squad, we've got international players. So... We, we kind of need to be pushing. We've been in and out, well, in and around that sort of area for the past couple of years now. So we kind of need to make that push this year to go one step further and make those playoffs.